Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today we're going to talk about a really important subject. It's probably one of the most important subjects we're going to talk about on my channel, and it's it's about hepatitis B in the Philippines. 16.7% of Filipinos are, in, are infected with hepatitis B, okay? And it can be passed sexually, it can be passed just from a razor blade or a toothbrush from saliva, um, sex, any type of sex, um, as long as it's not protected sex, but even then you're still taking a risk with that. But one of the reasons why I wanna talk about this so much is is most people that get it, 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 it'll just clear out because they've been vaccinated or whatever. But I just want you to be aware of this here, is that vaccines do run out after a while sometimes. Although they say that hepatitis B shots are good for life, in reality, they're really not, okay? I was vaccinated as a child and I talked to my doctor at the VA clinic here and she checked me and she said that I need a, a booster shot. So obviously they're not good for life, but most of the time they're good for at least 15 years. Um, you know, you might want to go to your doctor and get checked. A lot of people, I mean, we have these armchair doctors sometimes and they come back to me when I've mentioned this before and they said, no, I was, I was vaccinated and they're good for life. No. Um, I've spoke to a doctor about this, okay? Um, so you may want to get checked on that before coming over here. And it's very serious because for the people that it doesn't clear out, clear out of, it becomes chronic, okay? And then it's almost impossible to treat. In fact, it's just about impossible to treat. They do have medicines. You have to go on these regimens for like four years or something like that because um, we have somebody in our household that has it, okay? And... Let me just say this, um, it's really, really bad. If you miss like a day or two of that medicine, you're done. Because we went and talked to his doctor and the doctor said he has to take it for four years. It's very expensive. It costs several hundred dollars a month or whatever. And you have to take it for like four years. And if you miss it once, then it's just a waste of money. So she's, she sounded like it was just a total waste, you know, because you're eventually gonna forget it. So just FYI, like if you if you get this thing and you don't, you're not immunized from it, then you're really gonna get sick because it can lead to cancer, cirrhosis, and many other issues. And I just wanna put this out there because for you guys that are coming from the United States, there's a good chance that your girlfriend could have, have this because a lot of people are, are walking carriers of this. They have the chronic hepatitis, but it takes years and years for it to really get to you okay to really start hurting you now if you're if you have a girlfriend that has it and you you've been immunized you're okay you know what i'm saying because you're not gonna you're probably not gonna get it but you better get checked to make sure you don't need a booster first but it's just kind of worrisome that 16.7 percent of the philippine population population has hepatitis b okay and I know we have the anti-vaxxers out there and stuff like that. And you guys are basically on your own on this one. You know, if you don't want to get vaccinated, that's up to you. But you, you do need a booster for this, you know. And I don't want to make this an anti-vaxxer or a vaxxer thing. I know a lot of people, they have, you know, people can make their own decisions on this, what they want to do. If they want to come over here and, you know, take their chances, that's fine. But... One of the reasons why I bring this up is because a lot of guys are coming over here and they're talking about coming over here and staying single and being a bachelor or whatever. Um, and that's fine, but you definitely, definitely need to be vaccinated. Or you're taking a huge chance or you need to get your girlfriend checked or whatever, or ask if she's had a hepatitis B vaccination or whatever, and or have your girlfriend vaccinated and checked to you know, have both things done. You know, that way there, you clear all that out and there's no issues, you know, but I think you're better off actually getting a shot over here because if you, they have things over here called boodle boodle fights, okay? And everybody is eating on this leaf and they're all sticking their hands into the food and it's going into their mouth and it's going back into the food and it's going into their mouth again. And there's a good chance that some of that saliva is going back into your food. And if they have hepatitis, 
guess who else is gonna get it? Everybody sitting at that table is gonna get it too. And I, after thinking about this hepatitis thing, because I've been, I've been studying it and researching it for quite a while now, and as you, some of you guys know, you guys know that I've been talking about this before. And I honestly believe it gets passed that way from the Buddha Buddha fights, which is, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of, they, they call it a fight because it looks like somebody had a fight on the table or something like that because everybody's, the food's going all over the place. But they put it on a, all the food on a banana leaf and they're all sticking their hands in there and moving food over to their side. And it's, it's just a Filipino way, you know, but if one person at that table has hepatitis B, they, they're spreading it to everybody else. And unless they've had, you know, the immunizations or whatever. But I just want to share it with you guys because, man, it's 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 very risky. It's a big thing over here. Uh, one out of every six people has it, and they have the chronic type. Okay, it's not the one that's going to clear because the one that's going to clear is one that went into the system of somebody, and it just leaves because you know you got immunized, so your body has the antibodies to fight it off. Okay, and I am going to put a link on there from this doctor that talks about it a little bit so you can learn a little bit more okay and when he does talk about it being cleared from your body he's talking about people that have been immunized okay just to be clear there to you know, make sure you guys fully understand that okay um also hepatitis a is another one you have to worry about that's more of like a foodborne illness it kind of goes on on its own um you could you can you can be treated for it and it goes away, okay? Um, you can also get vaccinated for that. But another thing over here, guys, that, that you wanna worry about over here, and I'm based, I don't wanna make this whole video about vaccines and stuff like that, but it's TB. TB is very, very prevalent in the Philippines. A lot of people have TB over here. I I know one person that died from TB over here, okay? A lot of people, when they go on buses and stuff like that, before the COVID thing, used to wear masks on the buses and on the jeepneys in in asia because of the fact that tb is so prevalent okay and it spreads through the air okay so just a word to the wise and a warning to you guys out there and even to the anti-vaxxers out there at least get checked to make sure that your inoculations especially the ones that we just talked about are up to date okay um other people talk about typhoid and stuff like that. I don't know. I haven't heard that much about that over here too much. The big ones are TB, hepatitis A, and B. Um, I'm probably going to do one on C, D, and I believe there's E too. But I don't think those are as prevalent over here. The ones I've heard about mostly, the most prevalent one over here is the B, okay? And probably the A too, but the A just kind of clears itself on its own. Okay, uh, it just kind of goes away on its own because your body bites it off or whatever. But you can get a, a vaccination for that. Okay, so I just want to put that word out there, guys. Make sure you guys are safe, you know, and just play it safe, guys. Seriously, you know, when you come over here, even the guys that are over here already, you may want to go down to the local clinic just to be safe. Get some of these shots that you need. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm not pro-vaccination, I'm not anti-vaccination. I just think that some vaccinations you need to have. You had them when you were a kid, you're okay now. And, and the polio vaccine is one of those vaccines that you know, has kept polio off, you know, away from the United States. It used to be pretty prevalent, you know, and that just kind of proves that vaccines do work. I know there are vaccines out there that are dangerous too. So don't think like I'm pro or pro-vaccine or against vaccine. I'm just saying that some of these we did get as a child and you, you guys that are anti-vaxxers, you know, like you have your ideas, I have mine. And, and you know, I don't, I don't wanna have an argue, no, argument on my channel about it, but just play it safe guys. Cause if you come over here and you're anti-vaccine, you're, you're, you're playing Russian roulette with yourself. You know, if, especially if you're a bachelor over here. Be sure you get checked to see if your antibodies are up. You know, I went to my doctor, like I said, at the VA. She said, I need need to get a booster shot. So that means I have to get two shots. And they're like a, a few months apart. 
and you have to be on top of that to make sure you go back in to get the second one because if you forget it then it's useless so anyway guys god bless take care and i hope you enjoyed that today thank you guys